It's all about daily interaction moments. That makes the quality of care. When you are able to see developmental initiatives or contact initiatives of children, and you can give a good response on that, the intelligence of the response on such an initiative of the child makes the quality of care. So when you have a good eye, and that's why it's so helpful when you use video, because you develop a good eye. Because small things, especially children who need it the most, don't have the most clear initiatives. So you must have a special eye to look at it. And when you can give a reaction what's supportive, we call it the matameo supportive communication elements, then the child has so much more opportunities to develop. And what I think, what's also a key message, the second, is share the information with the parents. We do it in my Martemeo program. We do it with the Martemeo Parent Invitation Program. Like I showed this morning at the conference, that we invite the parents. We invite the parents not to share the problems. Your child is hitting, your child is aggressive. But we as professionals read the developmental message behind this special behavior. He wants to join in, but he doesn't know how. So he is... Him hitting other children or disturbing the play, because then you're also part of it. But of course, the message is, I would like to be part of it. And then we, with the developmental checklists from Matameo, we check with the developmental checklist, what did he not develop yet to be able to make friends, to play with other children. Then we check that and see, ah, he did not develop yet having play ideas and having words with it so that you can present your play idea, then you are attractive for another child. So it's very important to read that message and then to share with the parents, not that special behavior, but share with them the information, the information on supporting development. Like we have seen this morning from the boy from Australia who didn't have play ideas, was aggressive, breaking the toys, didn't have friends after four months. We invited, we filmed him, and we did read, he doesn't have enough words, he doesn't have a play idea. How does it come? Then we showed to the parents, he is interested to other children. His next step in development should be that he has play ideas and words connected to that, because that he needs to invite other children to play with him. Aha, the parents were very interested because they said, in the daycare here in the preschool, we use a special program to help him to develop that. So the parents think, hey, but that's good that they do extra support to Damien. And then they saw what we meant, and then they said, can we do that at home too? And then we always say, when you should join us, he has the best chances. So the parents feel, I'm invited. And then you see also, when you film at home, who is taking the initiatives in the play? It's the papa. The papa tells, we do this, and we do that, and we build a bridge, and we do. And then you must help the papa to develop, to understand that children in free situations, that I also think is very important in care, need space to take their own initiatives. That you not tell them, you play like this, and now you do that. That must be done too in structured situations. But in free situations, Children have the opportunity to develop their gold mine. So when we could explain to Papa that he could wait for the initiatives of the boy, that he then develops play ideas, when Papa should say then, ah, you put the bridge in the other way, then Damien think, when my Papa loves this idea, my friends at the daycare will love it too. So, and I think that's so important. We have seen on the film how Papa, after four months, himself with his own words can say how they now actually can play one and a half hour like that. And that he actually can make a bound now with his boy. And we see it, of course, in the daycare and the preschool, that he makes friends, he can play, and it's not only for this moment. What I showed this morning is that what you learn and what support you get from your parents and the daycare workers, people in early childhood, that is what you go to use later. I call it the golden gift. So I think that's the most important part.